the National Youth Affairs Conference, Are We There Yet?, took place over three days in Melbourne from the 1st to the 3rd of May 2007. The conference saw approximately 900 people come through the doors to discuss and debate youth issues. The conference brought together young people, youth workers and organisations from across the youth sector, including state and territory youth peak bodies, academics, policy makers and representatives from all levels of government from across Australia. Over the three days, almost 100 people were interviewed and asked the question, are we there yet, in relation to what they think about how we deliver our youth services. Let's see what some of the responses were. We're not there. We're nowhere near there. Where we're heading, I think, is towards more youth participation and uh, decision making in the services that are provided for them. Um, in terms of advocacy, where we're heading, I think uh, we need to be stronger in our work with government and, and have a, um, a harder and more impactful voice to government. Oh, I feel like we've been taking this journey forever, but we're not there yet. We need a code of practice. We need a professional association. We need to actually claim the territory for young people and say this is what youth work is about, this is what quality work is about, so that we can protect the territory and what we do best. I guess my answer to the question are we there yet is no we're not. Um, I work with lots of young Indigenous people and um, they're the most marginalised and disempowered people in Australia and I think we need to do a lot more to um, help them and, um, and help them find their way in this crazy world. Are we there yet? Uh, not quite, I'd have to say. Um, one of the big challenges I think that faces the youth sector at the moment is shifting from a wealth, welfare focused discourse around providing, so delivering services to young people, this idea of young people as passive recipients of services, um, and rather seeing ourselves as a sector as an opportunity generator, which young people are engaged and active in not only are accessing and taking advantage of, but are actually key drivers in terms of generating those opportunities for their peer, peers and dictating which kinds, of, which kinds of services they need to respond to the issues they feel in their lives. We're getting there. <laughs> um, we need a lot more of youth participation and then we're up and going. I think we've got plenty that we can achieve actually in Victoria. We need to provide more services for by organisations out in the community. And then I think we'll achieve equity for deaf people in the community. I think we've actually set up lots of social groups for youth people, and there's some information services, but really we need a lot more provision of services, and then, then we'll be there. In the mentoring field in particular, I think there's potential for us to be able to do so much more, and one of the, the struggling things I think more and more programs are seeing is sustainability and funding to do it. Programs take so long to develop, it can take up to three years before a program is finally standing on its own two feet, but if they're only getting funded for two of those years, you can see why some of them don't make it into that wonderful third year. Uh, are we there yet? Well, I think we're not going to get there until we start listening more to our young people. Um, I don't know what you guys reckon, but we need to listen, you know? I think some of the gaps are people have good intentions and the policies are written but people don't quite know how to take it from the words to the actions. So I think we need to do a lot more work on translating the words into actions. Are we there yet? No? No way young people don't get enough of any respect. I don't think we're there yet um, and I think we have a long way to go. I'm not just a soft puppet, I'm a young person who can't really speak out right now because my bosses are in the room and a whole heap of other organisations that I do stuff for. I think we need to lose the tokenism. I am just a soft puppet. Um, we conducted interviews with other young people, with government departments, and um, everything we were being told was that we weren't there and there weren't adequate flows of communication between young people and federal government. I'm concerned about the expectation that we create in the young people that we as youth workers, we work, we bring out a lot of great stuff for them, then they get cut loose and go into 
the rest of society and all of that stuff gets lost because there's no further opportunity for them. Are we there yet? And from the stories that we hear from the kids that we act with, bringing their own stories to life, we've got a long way to go, but um, the more we hear their stories, the more we can change. I reckon that's the way to go. G'day, my name's Michael Connell, I'm a comedian. Um, are we there yet? Jeez, I don't know, I think we're on the, our way. Uh, I, think, I think we need more comedy. I think we need more of a sense of humour in youth services when dealing with youth and when, you know, putting on shows for young people. Uh, a couple of laughs is always a great thing.